Hey guys, it's Jay with Hustle Paintball. And today, we'll talk about the Deadly Wind Whip Tips. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Deadly Wind, uh, we have a whole review on the Deadly Wind system uh, from a couple years ago. Ethan ties a null, I think it was, to a balloon and lets it fly away. It's pretty hilarious. If you are familiar with them, you know that they make not only the best carbon fiber barrels, but I think some of the best looking. The Whip Tips really are kind of more of the same. We have some of them here on our DM14, and this is Dan's uh, Kryptonite bodied um, and CCM mashup auto cocker. Uh, Deadly Wind makes these for, of course, the IUL and the Stella system, but also for the Planet Eclipse Shaft 4 and the Freak two piece barrel. Now, they don't make a two piece barrel system themselves, so you will need one to actually fit one of these whip tips on there. But they, are, they do save a little weight, that's not really what they're about. They're about looking cool and might they change the shot signature of your marker? Well, maybe a little, but not not like a, not a huge amount. That's not really what they're for. If you really want to go for a quieter marker, you should probably get the full length system. But these are, they're just neat. Now, they do come in uh, 12, 14, and 16 inch sizes, and I'm pretty certain from last I heard that Deadly Clips anyway, if you contact uh, Deadly Wind or us, um, uh, they will make them in whatever length you want. Uh, I've seen some Pretty hilarious ones that are like 11 inches, so they look like this. Pretty comedy, but that's the one to make it if you ask. So that's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat partnership that they're doing with Inception Designs. Other than that, they're very durable. That the wind is the only company in paintball, or maybe not the only one of the few, uh, that carries a lifetime warranty that they will honor forever on any of their products because they are so indestructible. A lot of people think carbon fiber barrels are fragile, or you're gonna, if you core sample them, they're going to shatter. You're not. The most common thing when these fail, which is very rare, um, is they'll fail at the collar here. Well, actually, the carbon fiber will damage the aluminum. So you don't have to worry about the, the barrels breaking. They're, they're pretty durable. But if, they, if, they, if you do manage somehow to break it, the other witness told us to tell you that as long as you provide them with a hilarious story, they have no problem replacing it for the entire life of the system. The Deadly One system is 100% carbon fiber. The only metal on it, of course, are the joiner pieces. The most important one, the interior layer, uh, which gives the barrels their abrasion resistance, uh, which is the reason why they, why you can swab these, unlike some of the other carbon fiber barrels have in the past. Um, it's a layer called silk fiber, and like I said, makes it so that it's it's nice and durable, so you can run your swab, squeegee, whatever you'd like through it. Um, they do encourage you to use only uh, furry squeegees. Don't use the hard metal disc ones that I'm sure we all remember. Um, those will, uh, those might actually damage it. So don't do that. Use soft soft squeegees or rubber ones. And, you should be just fine. But of course you can get pretty much all of this here, except right for this. I don't think Dash is going to sell that at hustlepaintball.com. Of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and read the blog. If you have any ideas for future videos, email us at videos at hustlepaintball.com. If you have any questions about the Deadly Wind system or any of these markers, or if you just want to bug Dash and see if he'll sell you his kryptonite body, hit up pvriot.com and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.